Canon C72 for interviews in the hands of an amateur that has never used a cinema camera. What could possibly go wrong? Today is a very special day. New Canon C70. Actually, I haven't got the C70 yet. Uh, Canon was really nice actually lending me one to play with for a few days. I have to give it back, unfortunately, in a couple of days. My thoughts about the C70 so far are just positive. It's an amazing camera, obviously. I mean, it's the professional cinema line and it's... Uh, it's heavy, it's big, it's amazing. Coming uh, as a photographer and uh, using Canon's mirrorless the R6, uh, as well as being a, a total beginner, I have never used a cinema camera before, I have never used any cinema line camera from Canon, I would say that it was both easier and much tougher than I thought. It's, uh, it's very an intuitive menu system, but it's a vast menu system there are so many settings with my r6 i can pretty much put it in auto and you can start using it as a camera the c70 you need to know about what codec what video format uh, your bit rates your audio settings it's a lot more to actually get to know before you can actually start using it my thoughts after just a few hours of use is fairly simple actually to to find out uh, how to get it up and running and actually start recording. I mean, this interview is shot with the C70. I'm like six hours into the use so far, but I have to admit also, I've spent a lot of times researching on YouTube prior to getting my hands on it. So I think I had a little bit of a sort of, a, I didn't start from scratch. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think uh, uh, if I was completely new, I had, absolutely no prior knowledge and I haven't done any research, I think uh, I would probably still be going over menus. A crucial tip for a first user, I mean, what, what would I tell myself five hours ago? It's actually one very silly thing. It's, uh, I, I'm almost <laughs> too embarrassed to admit it, but I was furious. I was, uh, I was, I was so stressed that I couldn't even know what foot to stand on but I couldn't get the files out of the camera I I mean it's it's silly I mean I had this amazing cinema camera in my hands I've been doing some test uh, shootings and I had like a, a few files I can watch them on the camera but I just couldn't get them into my computer I mean silly right and I started googling I started going over Facebook group but it's, a, it's such a silly thing to get stuck on so I, I have to admit I, I was too embarrassed to actually post in a, in a group but after reading the manual over and over and over and over again I mean I got back to the that line that says put your card reader in the computer so the R6 I can just put my USB-C into the camera and I can transfer the files back to my computer but apparently with the C70 you cannot so after going to the camera store which fortunately are fairly close it's just like a one kilometer uh, I got a card reader and voila uh, directly I could get the the footage into my computer but that's actually embarrassing and that I would say for first user ensure you have a card reader and that will save you hours of frustration and I was like I'm gonna start crying <laughs> anyone thinking about getting a C70 what would I recommend well get a card reader but also do your research do you actually need a cinema camera because I think uh, it's one of those things that you think I mean you want to have it but do you actually need it if you are doing corporate work, if you're doing interviews and you think that you will record for longer than 30 minutes, it's, I would say you start to, to be sort of where you need a proper cinema camera. But also, I mean, you could put an external recorder like an Nina V on your R6 or R5 and suddenly you don't have overheating or recording limits and the footage out of those cameras are amazing. So do you need it? I would say that's the first question. But don't get me wrong, it's an amazing camera. I feel I need it, I want it, but I also need to, I know myself, so I need to think, do I actually
actually need it? And I think that's a good question. Coming from the R6, uh, doing sort of going into the C70, I mean, it's a little bit silly saying going into the C70 as I've been using it for, for hours and not days or weeks. But uh, the menu system, uh, that would be my first thing that's completely different. There is nothing except the wording like C log that you can sort of use from the R6 menu. It's a, a cinema menu. It's, uh, I think it has 12 pages and each of those pages can have up to nine or 10 settings and each of those sort of uh, settings could have up to 10 settings. So, I mean, it's a lot of things to, to keep track on and that's uh, you're gonna require someone being focused and actually want it. If you just wanna uh, pick it up your bag, flip it to auto, uh, and uh, keep running on, uh, you're gonna be disappointed because there's a lot to learn. Uh, what codec, what uh, settings, uh, ISO, uh, there's, there's a lot to learn. Uh, once you are over that stepping stone, I mean, for me, at least for me, that's what I'm gonna feel after just a couple of hours. It's uh, insanely rewarding. The footage is amazing. The, the dynamic range, the, the softness, the, the fall off of uh, the, the lightning, it's, it's wow, I, I need one, I want one, I have to have one. I don't think you can compare the C70 to a mirrorless hybrid uh, with the R5C as an exception and I haven't used the R5C myself so I'll, I'll leave that as a, as a note but uh, Comparing it to my R6, which I can do, I've used the R6 almost for a year now. Um, it is, I don't think you can compare it. Uh, image quality wise on your video, you can compare it. I mean, the, the R6 even has sharper uh, video quality. So if you are that type of shooter that are always looking for the sharpest possible image, I think you might even be disappointed with the C70 and the cinema line, but I think that's sort of counterintuitive because that's not what we want with the cinema line. I think it starts to be a, a worn out term, a cinematic. But uh, I mean, a cinema camera, we want cinematic footage and that footage are not super crisp and super sharp. So I think that's one thing to, to understand if you want to do the C70 and pair it with your R5 or R6. I think R5 have more options, but uh, for me, pairing it with the R6, I need either to, to sort of dial down the sharpness on my R6 or I need to push sharpness on C17 post just to match the sharpness of the cameras. I think that's one major difference between them. Uh, other than that, it's, it's built like a tank. I mean, it's, it's a, a chunk of awesomeness and uh, the R6 compared with the C70 is like uh, going from a tiny little chicken to yeah, a, a big ass rooster. So. I'm not sure if I did the bird comparison, but never mind. It's a big camera, it's built like a tank, so no, you can't compare it. From an R6 perspective, I'm not entirely sure yet how I would get the most out of the C70, because I mean, they are so different. I think uh, I would try first to match the C70 to my R6 as much as possible. Maybe not use uh, the C-Log2, which I think is one major thing about getting a cinema line. You can use the C-Log2 for even higher dynamic range. Uh, I think I would want to sort of dial in the settings on the C70 to get it to the R6 so I can compare it. That way it, uh, my entire sort of uh, workflow in, in post-production would be fairly simil similar. And then I only have sort of one part of the workflow to, to play with. After getting used to the C70, I would sort of start building on that and start to use all the new possibilities. I mean, built-in ND filter, how amazing isn't that? So, I mean, yes, I'm actually using an ND filter now because I have so much light to, to get the R6 uh, happy uh, I, as I'm using C-Log2 on the C70 and uh, C-Log3, which might be a problem in post later on. Let's see about that. So I actually have uh, dial up the ND filter one stop. So uh, yeah, built-in ND filter is amazing. If I were to say any final thoughts to, to someone else but myself, cause my, my advice to myself and anyone contemplating getting a C70, it will still be back to my initial uh, thoughts earlier on that uh, make sure you actually need it because it is an expensive camera if you are just an amateur and you are not making any money 
but for corporate work, for professional work, it's I think it's a uh, that's something we will have to have. I mean, we can get an R6 uh, sort of functional by adding an external recorder like a Ninja V and we can add like a, a V-mount battery to ensure that we have enough uh, power to run it. But uh, it's still, I would say, a compromise. And you, we don't have to compromise with the C70. It's, uh, it's ready out of the box as soon as we have our hands sort of figure out all the settings that we need to know to, to get used to, to running a cinema camera. Other than that, let's get one. Let's, uh, I'm going to get one and I hope you're going to get one. And uh, with that, uh, see you in the next one.